the fat controller came to see James. You must take coal to all the stations on the island, he boomed. If the fires in the waiting room go out, the passengers will get cold and complain. You can rely on me, sir, said James proudly. The fat controller left. An important job, he said happily. Ha, ah, sniffed Gordon. It's only a load of coal after all. Nonsense, snorted James. I am going to keep the passengers warm. What could be more important than that? And he wished over to the water tower. But there was a queue at the water tank. Come on, he steamed impatiently. I have an important job to do. Wait your turn, bossy boiler, said Thomas. James felt too important to wait, so he didn't. He met Edward waiting at a junction. Edward was looking bothered. He had too many jobs and was feeling puffed out. Can you take these sleigh trucks to the quarry? Edward asked. Sorry, Edward, but I can't, puffed James. I've got the most important job on the island. And he chuffed grandly away. James arrived at the coaling station. He buffered up to the coal trucks and was on his way. Then there was trouble. James puffed harder and harder. He went faster and faster. Then he began to feel hotter and hotter. I don't feel well, wailed James. And he had to stop. Your water tanks have run dry, his driver told him. We'll have to wait for help. Edward stopped and told the signalman all about James. The signalman telephoned for help. And soon Salty was on his way. He pulled up alongside James. Why didn't you fill up with water this morning, matey? James told him about the queue at the water tank. No job is more important than helping another engine, said Salty firmly. And deep down in his boiler, James knew Salty was right. Thanks to Salty, James's water tank was soon filled and he was well on his way. He knew he had to make up for lost time. Then James saw Diesel up ahead. He had broken down and looked unhappy. James wanted to tease him. But then he remembered what Salty had said. No job is more important than helping another engine, he said to himself. And even Diesel is an engine. Come on, Diesel, I'll push you back to the sheds. Pushing Diesel and pulling trucks was hard work. At last, James got Diesel to the repair yard. But he still had to deliver his coal. wind blew, and it was getting colder by the minute. James steamed all over the island, delivering coal to the station waiting room. Everyone was pleased to see James. Thanks to him, they were all kept toasty warm. The next morning, the fat controller came to see James. He knew all about Edward's trucks, and James running out of water. I'm sorry, sir, said James. I put my own job first. But you did learn your lesson and you helped Diesel, the fat controller boomed cheerfully. And you delivered your call on time. You, James, are a really useful engine. Thank you, sir, he said. Being really useful was better than feeling important. <laughs>